ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದೋದ್ವಂದ್ವಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕಿಂಧುವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಠ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ಸರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತ ಬಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಬಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋಮಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕರೋಷ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ರನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ರನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷು ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
विजितरीशीकवायु विरदुनोस्तुरगम जयतंतोलोम भाईकिद व्यसन सतामृत समवायु गुरोरण बने जयवाज संतकृत कर्णधरा जलुदो विजितरीशीकवायु विरदुनोस्तुरगम जयतंतोलोमुपायकिद व्यसन सतामृत समवायु गुरोरण बने जयवाज संतकित कर्णधरा जलध गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लिव फॉर ओनली टू डेज ओनली फॉर टू डेज वी आर हियर इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड इट इज गुड फॉर यू ऑल टू म्यूचुअली स्टे एंड डू भजन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ वन आश्रय विग्रह गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल वी आर गोइंग टू लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड ओनली फॉर टू डेज यू ऑल शुड म्यूचुअली स्टे एंड ट्राई टू डू सेवा ऑफ दैट एब्सिल्यूट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ आश्रय विग्रह वन सिंगल आश्रय विग्रह actually if we like to if we like to do hari bhajan then there is no question of any fighting fighting takes place due to some annavilas if there is no annavilas no desire no then no question what popa told is the instruction of popa but still nobody can follow Popa told repeatedly, "You can mutually stay. Mutually, you can try to do seva of that absolute under the guidance one. Asray vigra. Asray vigra means guru. We have no idea about guru tatta. To be frank, many people can pass lecture about guru tatta." but they cannot realize themselves what i cannot realize myself i have no right to pass lecture over them what i cannot realize myself i have no right to speak about that tatta so first of realization pope had many time told that those who are anyavilasi they can gradually deviated from the track of guru patadma they cannot stay it is not possible for them to stay in guru charan so automatically they can get deviated slightest deviation from the track of guru patadma slightest deviation from the track of guru patadma can throw you ultimately can throw you away from bhajan actually popa speaking shetashar upanishad one shloka they don't understand the meaning if they can realize that meaning surely they can make any they cannot make any problem in the way of hari bhajan due to pratishtha this that jusho deve para bhakti yatha deve tatha guru you can memorize so many shastra you have money you can buy books from market you can go you have huge amount of money you can go to market buy all books and read and try to get the cream out of that book volume of book let me see you go and buy books and sit in a library and memorize and try to get the cream of what is written there may time and many time it happens so somebody like to become pandit 
I'll have to speak nicely so that people can clap me. This kind of conception. There. Somebody speaking, Prabhupada, I like to read Sanskrit. You do your seva. You do your seva, life is very short. Maybe in course of learning Sanskrit, you can die. So, within the short period, it is good for you, for your... You, sh you can do Guru Seva, Bhagavad Seva. But the man feeling disappointed. Because Prabhupada speaking, short time, within that you can learn this, this, that, within that time can go away. So, you can do Guru Seva. Because Guru Seva is such an important thing, without which you can never reach realization. You can never reach the point of realization. All Sastra you can memorize, but everything can go away from. Only those who are having full Guru Kipa, they can get the cream of all Sastra and speak to you. Because they are always in touch with Sadguru. It is possible for them. I personally know in our temple, there one new German devotee came. New German, very young boy, maybe 22, 23, why he came. And Guru Mahi never wanted to give Diksha. They forcefully, Maharaj, you give. I don't like to give. But anyway, speak Hari now. He has huge amount of money. He buys so many books and maybe how many books he buy, we cannot estimate. In a book, he was given a room, his putting, and day and night he is reading books and not coming outside, but not uh, doing any seva, nothing. Finally, what happens? He gone to home. He gone to home. This way, without Guru Seva, you can never get power. You can never get power without Guru Seva. Not possible. If Gurudev is satisfied with me, it is not a story, it's fact. You can try yourself. When Bhagavan Sri Krishna went to Gurukul, I mean Sandipani Muni, Sandipani Muni, when went to Gurukul, there you can see what Krishna, what kind of Guru Seva done by Krishna. Like labor, like just labor, just doing all everything, just to show us what is called Guru Seva. Finally, when he and Sudama Prabhu, two friends, went to forest to cut, you know, to collect, you know, wooden piece, so that cooking, at that time there was no, only wooden, I also cook by wooden in Surya Kundo, in Vrindavan, when I was staying, only lakri, put and then you have to make. This way, you have to do. Then they are, in a, they couldn't come back to home. To ashram because of torrential rain in the meantime it was late evening late evening so night time so night time they are going to take the you know you know the bundle of that wooden piece on head Krishna and Sudha for both because it is a Guru Seva item it's the item of Guru Seva I cannot throw in water so I'm taking and standing under a tree for long, whole night gone, and Gurudev crying, where my, where my boy is gone? Oh my God! He yeah, has gone to forest, maybe tiger taken. Oh, oh, oh! Then, early in the morning, Gurudev crying and running like mad in the forest, adjacent forest, calling in the name of Siddhama and Krishna. Finally, Gurudev discovered they are standing under a tree with full patience, with all Guru Shiva item on head. 
Gurudev going to cry and embrace them and come. Finally, Gurudev was bound to speak that I bless you. All Shastra, all Shastra can come inside your heart. All Shastra, all knowledge can appear. Because Guru is the source of all knowledge. Guru is the source of all knowledge. Everything we can go by Guru power. So this way we see how Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to do Guru Seva. And our Bhakti and Bharati Maharaj and our Guru Varga, all they told me. Bharati Maharaj told the whole whole life I was trying to do Guru Seva. Whatever instruction Guru Dev giving me is to follow. Not that with book I am sitting, no, never, no time. No time, but realization coming by hearing from Guru Varga. Different Guru Varga speaking Harikatha. I am hearing, realization coming. People think, I am reading so many books, I never read, I have no time. This way we develop. Whom Gurudev going to love? Sadguru is so clever, nobody can understand. Whom Gurudev going to give actual kipa? Nobody knows. Only the disciple who is going to receive the kipa of Gurudev and the Guru, both them. Outside people, they have no information. They think maybe he is enjoying whole Guru kipa. Sometimes he is enjoying Guru kipa. Oh, they have done it. Big seva. People in confusion, they say he has done seva. So he has done. So he is enjoying kipa. But nobody knows. Who is enjoying Kipa? Nobody knows. They are in confusion. By external, by external vision, nobody can calculate who is enjoying Kipa. It's not possible. But people are in confusion. They think he has done so many Guru Seva, we have seen, uh, taken care of Guru Dev. On the contrary, we can see he has developed he has developed negative attitude. But nobody knows. They have no calculation, no sastra If you watch that man, you can see he has, he has developed negative attitude. He wanted to take pratishtha from Gurudev, money, position, everything. Realization not there. But only external vision eh, can prove that he is, you know, Guru Sevak. He is not Guru Sevak. If he is Guru Sevak, then why the desire of Gurudev not coming? Why the Siddhanta Vichar of Gurudev not coming? Why the Acharan, pure Acharan not coming in? Nobody calculate. Nobody understand. What is the fallacy? This way, big problem. So, we heard from Gurudev, Guru Bharga. Sometimes it happens so, then in Gauriya Mission, Gauriya Mart, there is big, big, stout figure, tall figure. They can speak Harikatha for hours. They can pass lecture, I mean. They can pass lecture. Sometime Prabhupada used to, sometime Prabhupada wanted to engage them as a show bottle. Show bottle, you know? Show bottle, you don't know? Show bottle? In Ayurvedic shop, you can see big, big bottle, empty bottle with the green water or red water they put to attack people. Here is medicine available, available you can come. But it is not actually medicine. It's show water, only show. Prabhupada used to engage them as show water. They can bring somebody, then I can preach in front of them and deliver. Otherwise, they are habituated to express this kind of ego. I cannot throw them out, okay? I can use them as show water. Prabhupada was very clear. Prabhupada could realize who, what kind of disease is there in whom. Very easily Prabhupada could realize. So Prabhupada used to test them. Suppose educated man, very nice looking, handsome. Prabhupada said, you can do uh, seva in field. Field means cultivation. He never done field. He was from a high family, a, a jamindar family, landlord. You can go and you can take charge of this. You know. He is bound to do. 
with dirty clothes, you know, collect a bow, uh, you know, sack on head. Then Pope are testing, he has tolerance or not. He is actual Guru Sabak or you know, coming for some other purpose. Follow. I myself also, one, I, some, from temple long ago, they send me to market and the senior man is going to buy one po a sack of potato. <laughs> he is putting on my head. I take this potato pack and come here. And outside people, they are dashing me, uh, pushing me, speaking all rubbish. I myself knew, long ago when I knew Ken, newly. So, you will have to, you know, you will have to appear in examination. You will have to appear in examination time to time. And if you can pass in the examination, then you can prove that you are Guru Seva. Otherwise, external exhibition of Guru Seva is not Guru Seva. Gurudeva Tatma. When, when you can harmonize your heart totally with Gurudev. And without Gurudev, we cannot live this kind of condition. Then the disciple, by doing good, in course of doing Guru Seva, he himself becomes Guru. He himself, no need of election. Popat many times, no need of election. What is election? election? By election and selection, you cannot make. Guru said, Bulu self appearance, self manifestation. Whom whole world going to reject, but Bhagavan saying he is Guru. He is Guru. I point him as Guru. If you like to obey him, okay. If you don't like to obey him, still okay. But he is Guru. He is Guru. I make him Guru. So Guru is self manifestation. You know? Sometimes it happens so. In temple, some very, very humble devotee, not educational qualification, nothing so much, nothing, but he is doing Guru Seva. And in a day, five times Popat asking, where is the devotee? Where devotee gone? Where the devotee gone? Five times. Where is no educational qualification, nothing, so much. He is doing Guru Seva, simple Seva. But Popat taking information three, four times. Where the devotee gone? I cannot see him. This is the mood. Whereas, big, big editor, writer, educator can spark past lectures for hours. They leave Prabhupada and gone. Not even for a fraction of a second, Prabhupada lamenting. Not a fraction of a second. Oh, he gone. Ah, my seva hampered. Never. The miracle. Miracle, Guru Padu is strange. Who is this Prabhupada? Who is Prabhupada? To, re to understand who is Prabhupada, I think we will have to take uh, how many births to realize who is Prabhupada. Many of his disciples, in the name of Prabhupada, they wanted to take advantage, not Guru Seva. Foolish people all over the world, they can think Guru Seva. But Guru Seva has some stamp, particular characteristics. But they don't know. They have no idea. Who has done Guru Seva? I can discover one stamp in him, his Guru Seva, but not others. How many temples, how many disciples, how many money, how many... This is not the yardstick. This is not the standard. This is not the scale by the, by the help of which you can measure uh, the length and breadth of a devotee. Not that. So it's very, very secret thing. When those important men, who is the editor of Gaudiya, so many books writing, and when Prabhupada is going to pass lecture, they, ah, they can write so much. After that, they gone leaving Gaudiya Mat and Prabhupada. But still Prabhupada is not speaking. Prabhupada is not lamenting, oh, they gone, my Seva, never speaking. Whereas for small devotee, there's no educational, not, you know, nothing. Where are you gone? Where are you gone? I cannot see. So, now you can realize the internal relationship between disciple and Prabhupada. Very secret. Nobody can discuss. Nobody can discuss. Very secret thing. 
so secret thing that foolish people, they can think it is nothing. But it is a vital thing. Prabhupada can realize who love me very much. Guru Nishtha, Guru Deva Tatma, who, real, who understand me, who love me very much. Maybe a small devotee. Maybe he is doing a cleaning. I also. I also cleaning, you know, utensil and amount. They are not giving me any seva. I am doing cleaning. In Chaitanya Gauri, and go cool, you can ask. They give me seva. You, cleaning all, utensil. Bhagavad utensil. So seva is seva. If my mood is different, then I cannot do any seva. So what I mean to say, only and only by Guru Seva, Bhagavan Sri Krishna was speaking, that only by Guru Kipa one can have profound knowledge of Shastra with realization. Guru Rano Gruhenaivo Pumana Purna Prasantai. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. Guru Anugraha Naiva Pumana Purna Prasantai. Only and only by actual Guru Pa. Guru Anugraha Naiva, not Eva, affirmative. One Jiva can feel transcendental bliss. No burning state, no anxiety, no nothing. It's a full settlement of your life you can get by Guru. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. Guru Rano Gruhenaivo Pumana Purna Prasantvai. Purna Prasantvai. First of all, speaking Purno, after that, speaking Prasantvai. Wow. Mane, you see, by only by Guru Seva, Guru Rano Gruhenaivo Pumana Purna, all settlement of life by Guru Seva. No power in the world. Even Bhagavan cannot do anything. If Gurudev is going to support me, <laughs> Bhagavan even cannot do anything. So power, you see. So, this kind of peaceful situation only can come when your heart is devoid of any karma. Because in Chaitanya Chaitanya you can find that Bhukti, Mukti, Shiddhi, Kami, Shakoli, Ashanto. Those who are running for enjoyment, those who are running for Mukti, those who want to get Siddhi, Siddhi, they are all restless. They are all restless, they are restless. They can never get peace. Bhukti, Mukti, Siddhi, Kami, Shakoli, Ashanto, Krishna Bhakta, Nishkam, Atev, Shanto. Kishwa Bhakti have no desire, heart is clean, uh, at all any desire, all for the satisfaction of Krishna. Kishwa Bhakti is calm, no desire, free of any desire. So, if there is no desire, so no tension can be there. Desire is not there. No anxiety, no tension, nothing can be there. So, the sloka I started with is very important. There it is written, one can try his best. One can try his best personally to get control over sense organ, organs and mind. They can try, but they can come failure. Like one boat in the sea, one businessman with so much, with one businessman with so much, you know, you know, goods, fully one ship going, one ship. But there is storm, there is torrential rain, there can be well, you know, in the water, well can come and leak the, you can strike. It happens so, so many. Titanic gone underwater. Titanic, big ship gone out of under water. So it can so happen. So, if you try your best to get control over sense organ and mind, you can come to failure. You can try over again. Whatever 
whatever you know amount of effort you can put, you can try. Whatever amount of, but you can come failure. Because torrential rain, there is you know, and mind is my and mind can be compared with one mad horse. Mind can be compared with a crazy horse, you know, crazy horse. Crazy horse cannot allow you to ride. If you try to ride the crazy horse, crazy horse can throw you and, you know, with front hoof can, blood can come or you can die. Personally, we have some. I was, a, you know, very fond of football, used to go to see the mountain police. Those who are making problem, mountain police going and throw them. Practically in Calcutta. So, mind can be compared with a very, very crazy horse not going to come under your control. If you beat, if you, whatever you can do. And if you try to ride on the horse, the horse can, suppose you are very expert, if you catch, you are not going to fall down. You can run in such a way that you are bound to meet with an accident. Crazy. Our mind can be compared with this crazy, with this crazy horse. Never can come under your control. Never. Whole life and life after life you can try. But by the Kripa, by the blessing of Guru Vishnu, Actually, you, it, you can think it is one kind of story, not that. Personally, I feel it is practical. Krishna Bhagavan speaking, and so many big, big devotees in their life, oh, not only Kures, so many devotees. Wow, why should I go so long? Our Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Mahat Purgyoshima, Sridhar Maharaj, all of us. They're getting all knowledge, everything. So you can memorize Shastra, maybe your memory is very good. But you can memorize, okay? You memorize, but where from you can get realization? You can memorize, maybe your memory is very good, but what it concerns to us? Where from you can get realization? Realization can come only from Gurudev. Guru Vaishnava. Realization cannot come. You cannot buy realization from market. Realization cannot come. Only realization you can get by the mercy of Sadguru. That's why Bhagavan Sri Krishna ultimately receiving Krishna. He is Krishna himself. He is receiving Kipa from Gurudev. Gurudev blessing you. Krishna Balaram, you can, you can, you know, any Sastra, all can appear inside you. Krishna Bhagavan. Follow. So Guru Runu Grehenu Ivo Puman Purno Prasanti. If you like to get full settlement of life, there is only one way that is to receive full kipa of Guru Vishnu. Anyway, without Guru Kipa, I mean on the lotus feet of Guru Padma, all the pilgrimage there, all pilgrimage. In Shastra, so many documents, all the different pilgrimage are there, resting in the lotus feet of Guru Pātpada, I mean Nityananda Varala. So, Dham Darshan also only possible by Guru Kipa. Dham Darshan only possible, only and only possible by Guru Kipa. Dham Darshan. Dham Darshan we cannot, only by Guru Kipa. Anyway, yesterday I was speaking about Imlitala is a very, very important place in, for Gauriya devotees. For Gauriya devotees, Imlitala is a very important place. What kind of Leela happened? We know Siman Mahaprabhu when went to Vrindavan. Leela, he is in Vrindavan, eternal. But when Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan, always he wanted to sit there in Imlitala. Eh? Imlitala, they used to sit and do Harinam. There is very nice stream of Jamuna 
and Mahaprabhu closing eyes and doing Harinam. That is called Imlitala. That Imlitala was re-established by our great Guru Guru Gurudev, Srila Gosami Maharaj, Bhakti Saranga Gosami Maharaj. Before Maharaj discovered that place, that place was externally so dirty, people used to pass urine and stool there. All dirty. You cannot go even. That, that place was located by Gosai Maharaj, and Gosai Maharaj took resolution to re establish this place. So he wanted to make one temple. Many times he used to stay there and speak Harikatha. Now I am not going anywhere. Situation is not good that time, long ago. There is one very small temple, like room, because no money. Gosai Maharaj never wanted to collect money for personally. Gosai Maharaj collected huge amount of money and everything for Popat. But when Popat gone, when he wanted to when he wanted to go to Gurudev, I mean Prabhupad, he took decision, I cannot do anything, not even temple. It is it was our Bhakti Dita Madhu Gosai Maharaj. He forced Gosai Maharaj. You are a great preacher. You are a great preacher. Why you cannot go? You are a great preacher. You are a great preacher, so you should go. You know. You are a great preacher, you must go. So Gosai Maharaj wanted to make a small temple. My mother was no, no small temple. You have to make big temple, big. You are a great preacher. So this way, anyhow, big temple was established, but not so so many. Gosai Maharaj only established uh, maybe uh, two or three or four, maximum, and used to do bhajan, always. That Gosai Maharaj was successful to locate that particular space, a very important place, that is called Imlitola. There is one special Leela, not that only Mahaprabhu used to sit, sit there. When Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan, most of the time Mahaprabhu used to sit in Imlitola to remember his his own past Leela. Kauranga Mahapur doing same Leela, but now in the form of Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but at the time of Krishna, he used to remember that kind of Leela. That was the particular tree. I told you one fruit from Imli, Imli, Imli Viksha, the tree. There is very ripe Imli. So it was, the place was very sleepy. So rather than he fall down, rather than speak, Due to this, you know, tree, I fall down. So in whole Vindavan, there cannot be any such tree. So only one tree you can find. Even plum tree, whole Vindavan you cannot find. Only in, you know, Talwan you can find, Talwan. Only. Nowhere. Whole Vindavan you can search, there is no plum tree. Only one. This way, they are actually... Radharani and Bhagwan Sri Krishna, all you know, all gopikas, they used to sit there at the bank of Jamuna. Very nice Leela. So one day, Bhagwan Sri Krishna sitting and going to manifest as exclusive Leela. Golden complexion. Krishna is now converted into golden complexion. Everybody is speaking, how Krishna this? Then Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking, I, this is my Nitya Sarup. I can also come in Kalikal, this form. There is that particular place, Radharani and Govindo sitting there, uh, playing so much Leela, because uh, that place is very nice place. So this way, at the bank of Jamuna, that Imlitala is there, so it was re-established. It is eternally there, but still, it was re-established by our Gosai Maharaj, it's a very important place. And our Banagosai Maharaj is very clever. Banagosai Maharaj wanted to, you know, take place in there. It is uh, actually in Kaliyadaha. Banagosai Maharaj, Radha Govinda Vigra established, very important. 
and he used to do when Prabhupada gone, finally he stopped preaching. When Prabhupada gone, finally he stopped preaching and go underground their bhajan kutir and not coming home. He wanted to leave body. Anyway, that place. So Imlitala, you know, and before Imlitala, I mean this way, uh, eastern direction, you can find Kesigat. Kesigat is very important place also. And our Kirtan also you can find. Bandhu Sange Jodi Thake Rango Pari Haas. This Kirtan I already you can find it. I also see. Bandhu Sange Jodi Tavo Rango Pari Haas. This Kirtan very good. This Kirtan very good. There Keshi Ghat. In Keshi Ghat, Keshi Dvaito. Kongsho used to send time to time different demons to kill Krishna. That was a particular place. Keshi Dvaito was killed by Bhagavan Sri Krishna, particular that place. Keshi Dvaito, Keshi. And that was a very important place. At present you can find Jamuna Maharani. Jamuna Maharani you can find. Deity of Maharani, Jamuna Maharani. And in Kesigat, particularly in Kesigat, there is Pandavali Kunj. When we first, when, when Gurudev and temp, uh, from our temple sent us to make some tent, tent means no temple was there that time. We finally take Dauji Mandir much later, not before. Why? Previously only Pandavali Kunj was, I know, was there, it was uh, purchased by one American devotee, his personal name. Anyway, we used to stay there. That was Kesi Ghat, just at the bank of Jamuna. So, there is so many temples, but at present, you have no scope to understand we, where, which temple there, like Jugal Kishore. Very important temple. Jugal Kishore Mandir is very important. It is there near Pandavali Kunj, but at present lock and key. Lock and key, nobody there. So this is so many temple, you know. Near, I told you about Bankhandi Mahadev. That day I was speaking, no? you forget. Our, our Gopeshwar Mahadev, our Gopeshwar Mahadev wanted to request Sanatan not to come too far. Okay, you are taking trouble, old age coming through. You need not come. Sanatan, no. Sanatan cannot stop coming. Because there is a nature of devotee. How he can stop? Every day coming to meet with Gopeshwar, embrace and give water, and after that old Siddhan go. Every day. Finally, Gopeshwar was bound to come in dream. Come in dream of Sanatana speaking, please don't take so much trouble to come because there is so much forest, you know, jungle. So you are coming. So I can appear near your bhajan kutir. I can appear near your bhajan, bhajan kutir where? Eh? Mandan Mohan temple, near. So I can appear there. So, not so much, you know, you have to go long distance, but still the road is okay. So, Bankhandi Mahadev appeared him, himself, automatically appeared. From then onwards, when Sanatana Goswami discovered, when Sanatana Goswami discovered that uh, Gopeshwar Mahadev already coming here, so he is bound to be okay. He has to give water. That Bankhandi, uh, Bankhandi, uh, no, Bankhandi Mahadev, you can see in Bankhandi. Louis Bazaar, you can go through Louis, Louis Bazaar, and there you can go, then you can find there is one crossing, four road crossing. Right hand side going to Banke Bihari, and straight way going to, you know, towards, you know, Chaitanya Gauri Matman, I mean Radha Nivas. Left hand side you can go to Louis Bajar, left hand side. This way there you can find the temple is very nice temple. Gopishar Mahadev 
coming in the form of in the form of Mankandi Mahadev. Another very, very important deity, maybe you have no information about this. And outside people they don't know. So important deity. That is that is there, just Bankhandi Mahadev there, here Bankhandi Mahadev, just opposite. Bankhandi Mahadev, this road side, this road, this side Bankhandi Mahadev, this side, and just opposite side you can find one. You cannot understand, it's just like building. Those Gauriya devotees, they have information, they are going, very important. That is called Gaur Nitai Vigra or Pishima. Pishima means auntie. Pishima means auntie, auntie. Pishima is Bengali word. <laughs> Pishima is Bengali word actually. Pishima or Gaur Nitai. I mean Gaur Nitai is famous as the deity of Pishima. I mean auntie. It's a long history. It is from Birbhum. Yes, it is Birbhum. There was one crazy sadhu. Crazy, full mad. He used to run here and there. But he is not making any harm, he is doing bhajan, but crazy. That crazy sadhu watching that one Gomata, one Kapila guy, one Gomata daily coming and giving water to a particular spot. That crazy sadhu watching every day. That Kapila Gomata coming automatically and automatically giving milk. She is going to stand and milk coming on that spot. After that she gone. Just like the case of Govindaji, Gomatila. When one Brajubasi wanted to inform to Rupa Goswami path, there is something must be special. Why? That Gomata coming and giving water. Then Rupa Goswami path was successful to unveil the mystery. So Govinda Deva discussed. Similarly, that Kapila Gomata daily coming and giving milk. Finally, that crazy sadhu wanted to test what is there. He uncovered the mud. Up. He find, oh my God, there is, there is Gaur Nithyananda, wooden Bigraha, Gaur Nithyananda and Radha Gopinath. All in a throne. How is possible along with the throne, Singhasan, going under water and under mud? We don't know. Under mud with all, all Singhasan. Singhasan means throne. Radha, Gopinath, and Gaurnita all gone under mud. Nobody knows. When the deity were discovered, then they wanted to make some because the paintings all gone now for a long time, maybe hundreds of years. Who how is gone under and mud, who knows? Finally, they wanted to clean the deity and wanted to paint her nicely and it was very beautiful. And they could discover that the back that the leg side of deity, Gaurnitan, it is written. Murari Gupta. Strange. Another deity, it is written Murari Gupta. I mean, these are Murari Gupta and he used to worship. It is the evidence. Something more written, I cannot remember, but Murari Gupta's deity. It, is, it was, you know, installed by Murari Gupta at that time of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So it's very important, Vikram. Gauranga still today there. That Gaur Nithyananda inst uh, you know, installed by uh, you know, Murari Gupta, so he is very, very... That deity can give you response. If your heart is okay, na, can give response. So ultimately, how it is miracles, the seva gone into the hand of a Mataji. She was very pure lady. Very, very pure lady. Very, very pure, not ordinary lady. She used to love Gaur Nithai as son. Pishima, as like son. He used to do seva personally. He was not an ordinary woman. Very speciality. 
of his love, everything, so he used to love the deity just like a small boy. And Gornita also always wanted to reciprocate the Baba. Reciprocate same Baba. He want to love. And Gornita also wanted to, wanted to get, get kiss, get kiss from Pishima. Gornita also wanted to get kiss from that old lady and uh, demand, you have to give this. I cannot go. No, you have to go. I like it this way. Gornita used to speak. Gornita used to speak. The deity used to speak personally. You cannot believe. It is beyond your imagination. You cannot believe. Gornita used to talk with, you know, that, mother, that you know, auntie. And Pisima was sometimes speaking, don't go outside. Now raining. Now it's raining, turns, don't go outside. They forcefully go outside. Okay, come back, I can beat. Pishima waiting. And they are going, moving around in water and coming back. And there, you know, water coming out, there's, you know, nozzle, water coming. Pishima, I told you, don't go to water. Why you go? I told you, no, nah, don't go. You violate me and go. Now you catch cold. What I can do? Then Pishima, Going to take the cloth and uh, now, uh, now take, take all water coming, go on and Nita taking. Nobody knows. So loveful relation with Pishima. But you, you think it is one kind of story, not there. Everybody knows. Gauriya, everybody is, you know, have information about the love of Pishima. He was beyond body limit. He was beyond body limit. Just like small boys used to kiss, taking lap, you know, this way, seva. That big girl is there. Nobody knows. So this way, all, you know, very important. And Gauranga Mahapu, time to time, used to sit in Imlithal, I told. Sometimes Mahaprabhu, like human being, like us, wanted to do Parikram. Mahaprabhu done go Giriraj Parikram. And Mahaprabhu also used to do Panchakrasi, five cross, Vrindavan Parikram, like us. Mahaprabhu going for Vrindavan Parikram. Because with Vrindavan Parikram, all the important deities, you can do Parikram. Because all inside. Suppose Vrindavan here, you are doing Parikram, Panchakrasi Parikram there. So all important deities you are going to, because even. Follow. If you round this Vrindavan, all important deities established by Goswamis or anybody, all Parikrama can be done. A very important. I also doing time to time, but now it was no time. There is one place. There is one very important place that is called Jagannath Mandir. You don't know. Some lady, old lady from Bengal. She took initiation from Gurudev. I don't know actual initiation, that's... I'm not going to pass any remark. She took initiation and finally she is going to control the temple. And with her, that old lady, another uh, sannyasi also helping. So then temple reconstruction, that is called Jagannath Mandir. There is speciality, Gauranga Mahapu while doing Gauranga Mahaprabhu while doing Panchakarsi Parikram, Vrindavan Parikram, Mahaprabhu is usually going to sit that place. Why? We don't know. Why Mahaprabhu going to sit that place? We have no information about. But Mahaprabhu usually is sitting that place. Sitting for some time, doing again running this. So that place become famous as, as Bisrambat. <coughs> that is one banyan tree. I don't know, I cannot estimate the age of that banyan tree. I heard that banyan tree, under that banyan tree, Mahaprabhu used to sit. I have no information about the, you know, about the age of that banyan tree. That banyan tree long, maybe, how long, I don't know. But under that banyan tree, Sriman Mahaprabhu used to sit when, when doing parikram, used to sit there. So that tree still today, it's very nice tree. I also go, when I go and do parikram, I go and pay uh, dandavat 
under the tree where Mahaprabhu used to sit, that is called Vishrambhat, very important. That is called Vishrambhat. There is so many places important, if I go on speaking, years after years, <laughs> no question of end. So, so all important you know, deities in Vrindavan, almost I wanted to cover up you know, this way. And you should remember the Samadhi Mandir of Haridas, of our Sonatan Goswami Prabhupada. That is also a very important place, you will have to take darshan. Sanatana Goswami used to, uh, you know, because just near Madan Mohan Mandir, there is some sloping. That down you can see the Samadhi Mandir of Sanatana Goswami. Previously, Sanatana Goswami used to do some bhajan there. Finally, going there up, there is also bhajan kutir. After that, some rich man, I already told, he made one big temple of Madan Mohan. After that, Madan Mohan, was shifted to uh, other places, you know, in Jaipur, I in Karoli. Finally, one rich man also make one temple there, just adjacent. Sanatana Goswami Bhajan Kutir, and you can find just as an adjacent, there is Madan Mohan Mandir. So, after, uh, you know, Goswami is there, all gone, some very important devotees, who knows, he established one Madan Mohan Mandir, original there. Original Mohan, Madan Mohan already gone to uh, Karoli, I told. But anyway, Vrindavan is not without Madan Mohan. So they wanted to install one deity. Say Radha, Madan Mohan and Lalita, you can find there. You can find there. Very nice. So, there is Samadhi Mandir of Sanatana Gosai. Very important. And there you can find so many important, uh, important Goswamis, Gosai, I mean uh, Paramahansa, their Samadhi you can find, long, so many Samadhi there. So many Samadhi you can find all around. And Sanatana Gosai Samadhi is a man, is a man you can find. And there also you can find uh, Grunto Samadhi, Book Samadhi, all the rare books. All the rare books written by Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami and some important is there is not even a single man in this whole world who can realize that book and they can misunderstand Radha Govindu Leela. It's related to Radha Govindu Leela, very secret. So Rupa Jiva Goswami Pa took decision not to publish this book in in you know in society. Jiva Goswami Path was our Vishya Vaishnava Rasava chairman. Vishya Vaishnava Rasava chairman, after Rupa Sanatana gone, he was the only personality. Jiva Goswami Path. So he took decision, if this, those books should not be published in a common man. They can misunderstand. So secret Leela of Radha Govind. So Jiva Goswami Path took decision, yeah. To put all books in a samadhi. Before that, he begged for pardon because no way. So finally, you can you can meet with that samadhi mandir. Grunto, so many books they put into mud. After that, make one you know samadhi. We pray dandavat only. We have no power to understand what is written there. So only we can pray dandavat. This life. So Grunto samadhi. This we can. And this way all important devotees, uh, important temples we cover. And there is so also some important temples there. One is uh, at present, it was not there, so I should not speak, Pag Pagla Baba Mandir. He was a, he was a, you know, devotee of Ka Devi, Devi. He used to worship Devi. He was from North, North Bengal. And not Chobis Pargana. He was a crazy. He used to do Devi Bhajan. Finally, why and how he was interested to make a big temple? It is the biggest temple in Vrindavan. <laughs> what to speak? Even the area is more than Ranganath. Even more. So he wanted to make a big temple there. Why he is making? We do. I don't know. What can be the reason? 
I have no information about that. He is making a big temple that is very famous as Pagla Baba Mandir. And it is situated just in the road, Mathura Vrindavan Road, you know. Mathura Vrindavan, from, from Mathura station, if you come to Vrindavan, left side you can find. There you can find. Uh, uh, I already told about that, uh, that Akrur Ghat, I already told. So, so many guards are there. So many guards there. Akrur Ghat, these, that, so many there. Anyway, so this and Chaitanya Gauri Maharaj also come in, coming in the list of Darshan. Anyway, our Madhu Goswami Maharaj established, I already told, Prabhupada wanted to locate that portion as the resident of Radharani. Finally, our Madhu Goswami somehow, not even, you know, one square meter place is available. But only and only Madhu Goswami are successful to procure land. Very important place. Successful to procure. He make a big temple, established by my Guru Maharaj, everything else. This way. So, overall darshan of Vrindavan is almost, you know, this I speak. So much discussion cannot, we cannot, time cannot allow. So, tomorrow from tomorrow, tomorrow we can go to Mathura. Tomorrow we can go to Mathura to take, take darshan of Bhuteshwar and all, all, part, all important and our date is there. All important date is there. We can start discussing very, very important. And after Mathura, we can pray unto the Lord of Spirit of Bhuteshwar Mahadev, who is in charge of all, all, all Mathura Dham. Without taking permission, you have no right to do anything. From there, we can start for Parikama, Talwan, this, that, Madhuvan. This way we can do. So, Vijitari Sikha Vayu Viradanta Munasturagam Jaiya Jatanti Yantumati Lolo Mupayakida Vyasana Satamrita Samabhaya Guru Charanam Banija Ivaja Kipa Shant Shant Banija Ivaja Santa Kita Karna Dharaja Lodho Banchakalpadurasikha Basindhvai Pajitanan Pavanibho Krishna Shurna.